Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nazareth Studios, a Christian game development company currently being brought to life here in the beautiful state of California. Wah. Today, I'm here to talk about Line of Judah and the new game that I'm currently working on. For those of you who are excited for Line of Judah, I'm sorry to say, but that game is currently being placed on hold until further notice. I need an entire team to work on that game, and since I'm just one person, I've decided to lower the scope a little bit and work on a mobile game. The mobile game is called Judah and Friends. It will be a 3D infinite runner slash platformer game with city management aspects built into it. And on top of that, the game is going to be completely free. That's right, it's going to be completely free for you and your family to play. There will be some in-app purchases, but I wanted to keep the game completely ad-free, so there you go. With that being said, let's switch gears and a look at what we've done this month for development. We started the project off like any other, a blank slate. And while in this video, you may see Judah running, jumping, climbing, and even falling, this wasn't the case at the beginning. Before starting this second project, I had to look at Judah. I stepped back and asked myself, is he conveying the things that I truly want him to convey? I want Judah to be someone that, as a friend, you can look at and be filled with joy, but as an enemy, look at and be filled with fear. And while I was happy with the last model I did, to me, it just wasn't good enough. So I had to start from the beginning. I created an entirely new character concept for Judah. And you'll have to forgive me here, my drawing isn't the best, but as a solo developer, it's the best that I can do. This is Judah now, and while he may not look exactly like the character concept art I've created, he's definitely in a state where the feelings I wish to convey, I feel I now am conveying those with him. Also, I want to apologize. I have no footage of his creation. I just have the end product. I really wish I could have gotten some of that for you guys so you could really see the process. But sadly, I was just too focused on it at the time to even care about recording. Other than that, I hope you like the state he's in as well, and I'd like to jump into the animation. Before that though, I'd like to make a full disclosure that everything at this moment is a month worth of development and it's all a work in progress, right? Everything's going to be rough around the edges, but with that being said, let's jump into the animations and I'll show you a little bit of the workflow I have for one particular animation that I currently worked on. This is somewhat of a vaulting animation. It's for lower objects in the world for your character to just automatically jump over. Um, as you can see, I like to work frame by frame. This is all root motion, so I'm just trying to make sure that the character starts at one place and ends at another. After that, I really like to add more in between the frames to really flush out the movement. In this last video, you can see I flushed it out a little bit more. I've added some exaggeration in certain areas to really bring out life in parts of the animation. As of the moment, this is my current workflow. I know there's a lot that can be worked on when it comes to it. So if you're an animator and you happen to cross this video by chance, please let me know of uh, some things that you see from these small videos that I could work on in the comments section. And that's pretty much it. I know the video is pretty short, it's uh, about four minutes long, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick little update on what I've been doing for the past month and why I've stopped working on Line of Judah for the time being. With that being said, please make sure to click the like button, the subscription button, as well as the notification button. All your support really does help and it brings joy to what I'm doing to see that you're getting joy out of it. On another note, if you're interested in seeing the full development process of the game, please make sure to tune in every day, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. PST to 2 p.m. PST here at Nazareth Studios. Until then guys, I'll catch you later, God bless, and Jesus loves you. Peace.